all right have and have not fans now here's just a fair warning that um, if you watch my earlier video today about the ABC soaps interview that Angela Robertson had about the upcoming season of the haves and have nots I will be doing various videos because she covered a lot of different topics I'm talking about from the car accident to Jeffrey in jail to what David's gonna be up to Catherine Jim pretty much almost every care I think the only character I didn't read about in the interview was Wyatt yeah I'm looking over the pages in the magazine right now okay so I'm actually going to be focusing on two characters in this particular video it's going to be Jeffrey and Justin and um, there's even a paragraph in the article titled Jeffrey's new nightmare and again this is coming straight from the January 15th edition of ABC soaps uh, page 75 we have behind bars Jeffrey's claustrophobia will be the least of his problems since Justin's a cop he has easy access to the object of his obsession this is very bad very bad now it says now Jeffrey has Justin coming in and out whenever he wants which as we saw in the preview we have Justin you know coming to Jeffrey's cell it looks like Jeffrey's a bit pissed off it looks like Justin's leading him down you know the hallway and you have other inmates kind of like you know poking their hand down and smiling and then we have Justin and Jeffrey in the interrogation room and you know Justin's on top of Jeffrey so this is not a good situation at all and the article um, follows up with let's see yeah he has to put up with that so Jeffrey has to deal with uh, Justin yeah uh, yeah I mean this is a long paragraph but then it bounces off to uh, Candace and Charles but yeah the main focus is the fact that we have Justin pretty much taking advantage of Jeffrey now m the big question in this video I'm going to be asking is what do you think Jeffrey's going to j do based off the fact that Justin's going to be able to pretty much do whatever he wants to because Jeffrey is literally well for lack of a better phrase his prisoner his the I mean he's a cop so he's able to come and go as he pleases take Jeffrey out of his cell and it goes back to what Jennifer was trying to do to David in the interrogation room but uh, David didn't want, you know, her making out with him. So that stopped right there. But I don't think Jeffrey is going to take too kindly to Justin's advances, given the fact that he's possibly, and I, I stretched in the word here, possibly responsible for his mother's death if she did um, die in the car crash, which I actually doubt. Now, also look at the fact that J um, Justin's wife knows about Justin being gay based off the fact that Veronica put the video on the TV in front of everybody well everybody I mean Veronica the new DA Jeffrey Justin his wife the judge I believe there might have been a deputy in the courtroom as well because obviously somebody came and arrested um Jeffrey and then we had like a few people in the um in the um, audience there but they were probably other possible inmates who were in there for court cases as well now the fact that it's called Jeffrey's new nightmare links to the fact that Veronica is doing well I wouldn't say Veronica this is part of her plan but obviously as I said before there was a video I did call will jail make a man out of Jeffrey and in that video I talked about how Jeffrey's probably going to be in a situation where he's either going to do what his mother wants him to do or stay in jail because there's another part of the magazine that says here let me let me get to it real quick Sorry, I, I'm not trying to stall or anything. It's just this interview was just so freaking good. It has a lot of stuff in there. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, basically, when it comes to Jeffrey, it says here that, you know, he's going to be in jail, but it's really about Veronica is so homophobic that she sent her son to prison, hoping the experience would make him say mama I'll do whatever you want just get me out I told you so I told you I told you I told you that what that was her plan all along because Jim was doing the same thing to Wyatt you know up until the point Veronica intervened and had toxic rape him but his whole thing about putting Wyatt in his uh, stage jail predicament was to have you know cops and inmates come in uh, pretend to be these hardened criminals and you know try to take advantage of him it was to pretty much beat Wyatt down to the point where he'll say you know what 
I'm not going to testify against you and mom. I'm going to do whatever you want me to. I'm going to stop doing drugs. I want to stop drinking. I want to get a job. This is exactly what Veronica wants. But it all comes down to what's going to happen to Veronica from the accident because the interview also says, and I think I read this either in this video already or my previous video, that um, David is Jeffrey's only hope at this point. Uh, Robinson suggests adding to the young man, adding that the young man's father is likely to be furious with Veronica based off having his, their son arrested. So David literally is Jeffrey's only hope. I mean, he's the only one I could think of that can actually try to get him out of jail. But honestly, I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know. Um, it's possible Justin might intervene. You never know because he works at the police station. David might come down and say, um, I'm, I'm Jeffrey Harrington's father, David Harrington. Justin might be there. And then, you know, he might, for all we know, Justin might be the guy at the front, you know, they might have like the secretary or whatnot sitting at the front desk, and then Justin could be coming in from a session with Jeffrey. I hate to, you know, use that phrase, but that's the cleanest word I can use in this video. And Justin might get in the way. What? Look at it this way. Remember back in season one when Wyatt was on the verge of getting out of rehab, like it got to the point where he was clean enough to go over to his parents' house and stay for a while, and then Laura was there, and Jeffrey got mad, and he tried whatever he could to keep. Um, Wyatt under his thumb you know like hey when you get out of rehab maybe the two of us can get a place together or we can do this or that and Wyatt wasn't having it do you think it's possible that Justin might try to sabotage Jeffrey's chances of getting out of jail because he has Jeffrey exact well I wouldn't say exactly where he wants him to because that's jail but let me just say that Justin is happy because Jeffrey is accessible to him whenever he wants. And if Jeffrey walks free, that might not be able to happen again. And another question is, you know, what's Justin's wife? What role will she play in all this as well as his mother, Pearl, who we haven't seen for quite some time? Obviously, it goes about saying that there's no doubt in my mind that Jeffrey, oh, excuse me, Justin's wife will contact Pearl about this. So um, with that being said, you know, there's just so much more to talk about in this article, and I will definitely be doing a live stream uh, later on today or, you know, probably tomorrow. But just so you know, please, I urge you, go pick up a copy of ABC Soaps from uh, January 15th. Is in, I found it at Kroger. There's just so much great stuff on pages 74 and 75. There are at least three more videos I'm going to be doing on this magazine article itself. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Justin being able to... Um, have his way with Jeffrey whenever he wants. So do you think Jeffrey is going to get out of jail? Who do you think will be able to help him? Will Justin do what he can to sabotage Jeffrey's chances of quote unquote escaping? And how do you think he's going to react when Jeff, um, Justin tells him that he, he was the one that, you know, um, contribute to Veronica going off the road.